Here we have a Panasonic DVD drive. It's kind of beat up and doesn't work properly. You can just hear this going. When it's reading the discs, it's really that really loud and it scratches the disc occasionally. Um, see all the thermal padding and some chips and stuff. What's this? Like or something. Hmm, interesting. It's like glued to the circuit board and uh, you can't take it off. Whatever it is, like EPROM or something like that. Memory for it, basically, the control memory. Like BIOS. Firmware, software, and chip, basically, is what it is. Whoops. I was expecting that to uh, come off in one piece, but it didn't. Oh well. <laughs> it's a bit cheap, yes. It's there would usually be a connector holding that on, but there isn't. It's just soldered, hardwired into the actual circuit board. Some power ha handling ICs. Shit there, something can probably tell me what that does, I'll Google it later. Panasonic MN10, uh, 1003S13 BDA. Japan. Apparently. It's just made in Japan, but it seems really cheap and nasty, the quality of it. Panasonic. Made in Japan again, all the chips made in Japan. Surfboard. Doesn't actually say. DPI. Capacitors. Made by SMG. Where is to this thing really? Not very much else. It's the uh, laser. Um, this is 50 you were saying about uh, some DVD burners though, isn't it? This is just a DVD. Making a little laser and a burner out of one of these. Not this, but you know, an actual burner as opposed to just a reader. Variable resistors and things on there. Could have some fun possibly, but if I can power it up, let's see what we got. I can actually see where the actual laser part is. No, it's there. There's three pins for that. Run as it slides on. Mechanism for opening the thing, I think. That's it. Oh, no, that's the actual mechanism for sliding the laser. It doesn't use a little. One drive it uses a uh, regular motor, not unusual. Motor that spins the disc, motor that opens the drawer. That concludes this video.